Hey guys, the kids just got home from school and if you know anything about my kids, you know they love to draw and they're so good at it and they love it and they could do it all day. Winston recently got an old canvas that he had made. When did you make that originally, Winston? That SpongeBob last year. He got it out and he was like kind of fixing it up and improving some things and adding things to it. And he asked if we had any more canvases. That was a few days ago, but I was just cleaning my office and guess what I found out? <laughs> Sometimes it is great to be a hoarder because you have random things everywhere. Um, so I got these canvases out for the kids to draw something. They're going to find something that they want to draw and on YouTube. Because if you didn't know, YouTube has amazing tutorials that you can follow along with. Kids can follow along and draw pretty much anything. Layla wants to do Princess Peach. So she's about to get on the Alexa because the kids no longer want to draw the same things, which is fine and follow along with a little tutorial. And once she's done drawing Princess Peach, then they're gonna come upstairs and we're gonna paint them. Right, is that what you wanna do? Oh, paint? Like, like markers that like. We could go buy some paint markers, actually, if that's what you would rather do. Yeah. Paint markers um, can be easier. Do you wanna buy some paint markers? Like the ones that you like have to like put yeah. out. So yeah, I yeah. love those ones. Yeah, they're good. How many canvases do we have? What? How many canvases do we have? Well, I only have those two right now. But we can buy more. Yeah, we should go. Yeah, let me get the paint markers. After we're done. Oh, okay. Well, let's just like focus on this one today. And then we'll, we can go grab some paint markers. They are just a lot easier. Today? I actually really like ordering them off of Amazon because I think they're a lot cheaper. But yeah, we'll go get some today somewhere. Alexa, how to draw YouTube. <laughs> Searching YouTube. Guys, school's almost out. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? It's gonna be so crazy. I actually am a little concerned for my children because they love school. Layla and Winston, anyway. They love school. They get excited when the weekend is over and they get to go back to school. They love like the routine and they love staying busy. And so I've been thinking a lot about ways that I can keep my kids busy all summer. And of course I've thought of a billion things. And then the other day I was talking to Braylee and I was like, Braylee, I need you to talk me out of something because I feel like it seems like a really great idea right now, but I don't know when it comes down to it if it's something that I'm really gonna wanna do or be able to do. And that thing was a summer camp for kids. I was thinking the other day, I should just put on a summer camp for kids. Like, you know, however many days a week, they could come over, we could craft, we could play, the kids could hang out. You know, I would have like a schedule and a routine and then I was like, you know, and, and in my mind, I'm dreaming big and I'm like, this would be amazing. I don't do a whole lot. We don't travel a lot. We travel here and there, but I could like make the schedule around it. It would be great. In my mind, I'm thinking about how fantastic this would be. It would be a way for my kids to stay busy. I'm sure other parents are worried about keeping their kids busy. But the reality is, is I probably would get overwhelmed by it and I would get sick of it. And I wouldn't want to do it. So I had to had to recruit Braylee into bringing my dreams back down to reality. But I do think I might do a few like play dates, like group play dates and have kids over. Do you want to see something that I can put my backpack in? Oh, we're a little late to the game on this. I've been trying to do a little spring cleaning around here because things are unorganized and messy and we have too much stuff everywhere. And I was telling the kids, you know, we have these lockers and they were like lockers. And I was like, well, these cabinets, they're like a locker so that you guys could each have one and put your stuff in it so that you know where your bag, your backpack is, you know where your dance bag is, you know where your jackets are. You know, you can kind of like keep your stuff in these lockers. And when we got home, Layla was like, what? And immediately took claim over this locker. And I love it, just took charge. I was telling her we could do some fun things like maybe put some cork board right here so that they could hang pictures inside. We've never really utilized these, and I don't know why, I've, I feel like it's because it's always kind of messy, and they are a little higher up. And I don't think my older kids would really use them. Maybe they would. But I feel like that is why. I've also used them for other things, like just storing coats. But we did end up building another little mudroom for all of the big coats, and big coats don't really fit in here, so. good for your drinks. Hello. So this is what Layla has done so far. Isn't that adorable? I think that we actually need some like lower hooks. And I thought about maybe doing like their own basket for shoes, like oh, just right. school shoes or just play shoes. 
So what? maybe they'll leave like play shoes out here and school shoes are put away in the room. And by school shoes, I mean like nicer shoes that I don't want them like, or you can, like getting wet or, outside or leaving outside like they do. Or you can put like a basket so I can like these stuff and like my little sh and then my makeup in there. So. Well, I just feel like that's like stuff a mirror. really you could, like, put a mirror. needs to be in your room. Like, you know, this isn't meant to replace your room. This is just for like putting things so it will be easy to grab them when we're on our way out the door. So you're not like wondering like, where's my backpack or where's my coat, you know? But like, you have a desk for a lot of these things like tape. I need, I need this I so mean, I can great put idea. my backpack. Yeah, great idea. But you know, so like a basket might be good. I have baskets under here, but they get so full of everyone's shoes. I feel like people put their shoes there that they don't want anymore. I just went through those also and I was like, everyone, go through these and please get rid of the ones that you don't want. I have a giant bag, most of the shoes. Most of the shoes nobody wants anymore. Oh, I don't know. I'm really trying to be organized, but I'm really not an organized person and we'll get there one day. Actually, I'm really excited. We are going to be out of town for lacrosse this week into the weekend and when I get back, there's something that I want to start doing and I'm really excited about it. I think it will be fun. It's a way to help me get organized and so those videos will hopefully be coming soon. It's cleaning and it's Winston cleaning. What? Just kidding. <laughs> Jeremy said, don't say cleaning, don't say cleaning. It's just something fun that I thought I could do to make getting organized more fun. And also to maybe help some of you who struggle like I do, feel seen. I see you. It's hard and it sucks and I love when I am organized, but the process and the motivation and the doing it and then the staying focused and finishing, those are the things that, that I struggle with. Once it's done, I love it. And if I can hyper-focus, hyper-focus on it, I can get it done real quick and real good. It's just a time. It's a time to know that that's all that I will be able to do and focus on. And if I lose focus at any point, that's it. It's not ever going to be finished until I'm like circle back around and we're back right here again. So I'm hoping that if I make it like a project, I make it into like maybe a little video series, that it will be something that I will do until it's done. We'll see. If not, you'll see me fail miserably and that's fine too. It happens. But my whole house needs to be organized. If you could only see. I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see, but I am going to be showing you just how bad things get around here. We had to take a quick break from the canvas making for dance practice and lacrosse practice and now we're gonna go and buy some paint markers so many things happening today oh my gosh we're also packing because we're gonna be heading in different directions for lacrosse Winston's <laughs> gonna be going with grandma Larry and grandpa Carl the Boise bro and then we're heading somewhere else to watch uh, Gage play now that Gage is on the high school team they don't play in the same tournaments which is kind of a bummer because I feel like we're going in different directions sometimes. But Winston's pretty excited about Grandma and Grandpa taking him and Daxton's going. So, all good things. Here's yes. the only bummer. Here's the biggest bummer of all. We were supposed to go to the Luke Combs concert and we had backstage passes to meet him and um, that was in Boise. We won't be in Boise. We'll be far, far, far away from Boise. And there's just no way that we're going to make it to the concert. I'm so bummed about it. I can go for you. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's more important that we're watching our children. I can but eat. I was very excited about the concert. Very bummed that we're going to be missing it. But also, I'm excited about lacrosse this weekend. I love watching lacrosse. I feel like I'm finally understanding. <laughs> Rude. I feel like I'm finally understanding lacrosse. And it's taken a really long time. Gage has been playing since he was... Um, fourth grade. And I started so, when I was in 
before yeah. in preschool. Yes. Layla, were you raising your hand? Um, like after we get to go to the cabin, after we drive. Oh, that's, that's not happening anymore. Why? Because it's actually not in that right, in that direction. We were going to leave tomorrow night and stay at uh, Grandma and Grandpa's cabin, but it turns out it's not on the way. Can so. we get I have no idea where we're going. And we're getting to the Airbnb. Yeah. That's uh. all right. Okay. We finally finished the canvases. Layla, are you serious? That's so do you know excellent. how to do this? So you just have to do like a cross. Uh huh. Like fill it in. Okay. Okay, I'll show you guys. That's so, so good. So you have to take this. Okay. And then go. Yeah. And then you have to take this. Okay. Okay. It's okay. really good, Layla. When Gage first saw this, he was like, Layla drew this? I was like, yes, she did. She's so good. Nice job, baby. Do you like how it turned out? Yeah. Yeah? I really good. Better. What the heck, dude? This looks a lot different than it did before. I mean, it does kind of look cool. But what what um inspired the change? The change is here. Craziness. <laughs> Craziness. This poor table. You guys got, you realize this is really paint that you guys got on the table. Okay. I need a new table, but like, why would I? You know? Because if I had a new table, I'd be very angry about this. I'm not. It just it is what it is. Yes. What it is. <gasps> oh yeah! Look at this. These kids are at uh, Costco right now. We're gonna be going on a long road trip. Layla still has some Christmas money, so she bought this. How cool is this? I'm excited to open it because there's a clipboard. There's a bunch of papers and notebooks. It's gonna be perfect. And it's adorable. We're all heading out tomorrow, going separate ways. Winston's going with Grandma. I think we already mentioned this. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I miss you so much. Winston still has a couple days of school for the rest of the week. Layla skipping school. No, I wanna actually do. It is kind of a bummer because she doesn't have school. She only has school half of the week next week, also because of kindergarten graduation. So it's really just cut short. We're gonna be over. How crazy is that? Oh my goodness. There's so many things going on, so many fun things going on at the end of the year. We just yes. went and watched Lenny cheer, which was so fun. It was just so crazy because it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. And Brayley was cheering for the same little company, and now we were watching little Lenny. Were you gonna say something? Um, my <laughs> the dance reviews next week, so they will be dancing on the stage. Are you ready? Are you excited? Maybe Blakely's gonna be there. Um, I did film the dances if you want to practice this weekend while we're gone. I don't, I wanna go to school. I, I know you wanna go to school, I'm sorry. Ah! I'm sure, sorry. Mom's anyway, I have so many things that I need to get done still. We were going to leave tonight, and then we decided that we we're just gonna leave early in the morning, and yesterday when we decided that, I was like, oh, Right now I'm gonna have so much time, which I should never tell myself because I haven't gotten anything done that I needed to get done. And I probably would have last night. Have you not told something, Mom? Um, right? I can't not tell myself. No, I shouldn't have told myself like, oh, I have so much time now. I should have still been like, no, stay on track and let's just get everything done that needs to be done. Let's not act like you have so much time because you really don't. Hey, you don't want that much more time. Tomorrow. No, you may not skip school tomorrow. But did you know that Carly's picking you up? So that will be fun. Yeah. And you get to go see their new house. Uh, we were just looking at my old yearbook. Winston got this out because we were looking at Braley and Gage's yearbook and I was just turning through everything. Casey was my boyfriend at this time. He signed my yearbook. I just wanted to show you how sweet it was. His name only. He only signed his name. Other people signed my yearbook and wrote nice things. And not Casey signed his name. He was my boyfriend. Rude. I don't even want to know what I wrote in his. <laughs> and, this guy, and someone wrote, uh, called you a cutie. Nuh-uh. Yeah, well, guess what? It wasn't my boyfriend. <laughs> Call me. Uh, I just love how people used to sign, how we used to all write and sign each other's yearbooks. Like.